Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome, care of Classic Hot Rod TV, to this round six of the Scottish series for 2017 for the Classic Hot Rods. Here on Saturday, the 26th of August, it's a lovely evening, and we've got a good contingent of drivers here with us tonight. And uh, we can see that Kenny Purdy is already extremely busy. Kenny, we'll just grab you very quickly for the TV show. He's never busy, he's a fanny. <laughs> Thomas Lee is here with you tonight. Now let's just make some interesting racing, shouldn't it? Oh, it should be, eh? Yeah, right. it's right. a bit of a contrast between yourself racing the old Spankle with the 13, with the six, the, uh, the cross-flow engine in, and then of course Thomas racing with the with the Matinto. Right, well, we'll see how it goes tonight. Yeah, I think uh, it'll uh, be quite close anyway. So yeah, are you, are you glad that it's dry? Oh, right. yes. I love the dry. Yeah, I like the way as well, but yeah. these prefer to dry. These, these cars prefer to dry. And do you think that? I mean, every every driver enjoys the, the thrust of competition, but do you think that the point series has added a fresh oh. angle to both the drivers and the crowd's oh, interest? Massive, massive. I actually thought they would have got some English up uh, yes. tanks in them because they're all about the points as well. Indeed. Because we're in the stories in it, so I'm actually surprised that we're not here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no but doubt you'll all come together again next we'll weekend. We'll come together next weekend and then we'll battle out, as you say. Well, congratulations. Have a good evening hey, and good luck. Much. Thank, Thank you. you. So that's one of the, the top drivers, of course, like Kenny is, the series leader in the Scottish series. And if he wins that, then he'll be not only entitled to the top position, but the broad silver stripes highlighted with blue, just to uh, indicate his title status come the end of the year if he's the top point scorer. Of course, the other thing is, is if he wins the international series, that will entitle Kenny to actually have the full silver roof, which is even more significant. Have a look at some of the other drivers that are here, and of course we can see that number 12, Trevor Harris, he's here today with his uh, Anglia, number 12 on the side, advertised by Pastime Furniture, and uh, it's the first time that um, Trevor has been out in his classic for a few months, last time was at the Ipswich Speed Weekend, and um, hopefully we'll see him do pretty well, he, he always starts off very quickly, but um, tends to sort of almost run out of puff halfway through, but we'll see how he gets on. Next in line we can see number 63, it is John Watkins. And John was an in, a, a starter for the, uh, the Classic Series in 2017, and that was for the first time in this former Mick Cater car, um, just the last month. And John, amongst all the other drivers, was brought in a torrential downpour here at Cowdenby. And we're absolutely delighted that it's such gorgeous weather this evening. And uh, we will hopefully see John get some more good lap times in, in this uh, very plain but effective looking Mark 1 on the bright uh, 63 on the side. Now alongside here we've got a car that had been built over a few years ago by Graham McKay, originally raced by Graham Allister. Um, Graham has since bought the car back and as you can see the 247 is on the side of the machine once again. Um, Graham is going to be using this car for tonight. Uh, we will see as to what he chooses to do for the remainder of the year. But, uh, we will see shortly one of the interesting reasons why Graham is racing this car in a wee while. Right, well, we'll move on. And uh, the next driver we have in our list is number 50, Mike McKay. Well, Mike, he's uh, started with the self-built uh, Mark II. This is his third meeting that uh, he has been out. All of them have been so far at Cowdenby. And uh, again, with it being his last time that he'll be racing in the novice grade, from uh, the next meeting on, of course, he'll be fully graded amongst the whites, and we will see how he progresses. Uh, number 50, Mike McKay. Thomas Dilley is about to get ready to go out. You can see that Thomas is just getting ready in the car. And, uh, I'm absolutely delighted to see Thomas has made his way over from the base in Dungannon in Northern Ireland to hear us. Uh, one of the key components for this meeting tonight is that he's right in the mix in the International Point Series that one of his top five. have been 
seen that before no. in different truck. No, really? never ever at never, all. Never been here. Oh, that's <laughs> amazing. Well, I'll give the first run now in a few minutes. That's all right. And uh, reminds me a lot of Port of Down back in the days. So. Yes, I think you're probably right. And I, I would imagine, with a man of your experience, you probably tune into the track quite quickly. Well, running at the back, you have the benefit of maybe not as many cars around you, so yes. you get the chance in the first couple of races to settle down. Yeah. Yeah. And um, obviously you'll be seeing how the local expert Kenny Purdy is going to go. <laughs> he, he's certainly enjoying the competition this year. And uh, look at the two of you being so close in the points championship. You, it's certain, and it's certainly attracted the interest of the fans as well, hasn't it? A lot of people watching for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, enjoy the evening. I hope everything goes well for you. Thank you. Next driver along that we can see number 84, John McFarlane. Now John was a revelation at Birmingham just two weeks ago, yeah. where he led his race in his first heat up to the halfway stage, and then had a great battle with Andrew Willis, the driver of the yellow Austin A30. And uh, hopefully we can just have a quick word with, uh, if, with John before he gets ready for the season's racing. Oh, I was just remarking to the people for Classic Pop Rod TV just how well we went to that moment. I had a boil with the kettle. The kettle? Uh, didn't they boil? <laughs> uh, I'm keeping on going, waiting for the click for the kettle to go so I could hear my coffee halfway round. That's right. It just never happened. You so were going to stop off for uh, a tea cake halfway uh, round, were you? I was deceived. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you must have been delighted as to how everything went with the car. To be honest, went out for the practice and the car was really tail ended. Uh, and Kenny Purdy uh, softened it down yeah. to help with Kenny and it made a big difference. But I sort of, even though we were going the wrong way around, I sort of took the line in reverse that I've done with the mask cars oh, down right. in that track yes. because that was our home track. Yes. And that's, to me, I was racing it. Does it give you that degree of confidence with the polarity? Ah, I like, I like the track, yeah. Oh, it's um, just a case of, as I say, you're going in reverse, but you're sort of, because I've known the track with the maskers, yeah. you know how to go maybe too wide with the classic, but it still got me going because you're not having the, the four one different. Yeah. I wasn't coming out the bends as quick. It was like Sam Andrew Willis to me. I was quicker on the street, but that just meant we got into the bins. How, how do you think therefore you did it tonight here in the uh three fifths or three sixes? I was not keeping out yet. I mean the fast boys are gonna be very that's, fast tonight. That's it. The last two meetings I've been put on the back back out. It's dry. It is. We've obviously brought the, the good weather with us. Last. No, we're looking forward to it. We've got nine cars, which is good. Yes, yes. Um, but, um, oh, not much else. We've got Graham. And he's. He's Mark II. Uh, he's Mark II, the yeah. lead boat for Graham Allister. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. We've seen him back out in an escort. Absolutely. Well, they started. We will feature him shortly, I'm sure, but all the best for this evening. Right. And thanks Good to for see the you chat. Up here. Thank Great you. Stuff. Cheers. All right. And uh, just the uh, two drivers remaining to feature. And we've got uh, number 222, Trevor Forrester. In this car, this Anglia, which years ago used to be like. Transformed by uh, the uh, Forrester is now ready with this car. First time that he'll have driven it in anger for quite some time. He's done some adjustments with the setup, and uh, we will know that wish him well. He's uh, just talking to one or two of his fans at the moment. Talbot Sunday, number 900 Jock McGoin. First time out in the classic hot rod. He 
most uh, the man of a vast amount of experience many years ago having raced stock rods and other form of hot rod formula and uh, his knowledge of this track I'm sure will come back to him in the back of an eye and uh, gets himself used to this particular machine. Hopefully we can have a quick word with Jack. Hello Jack, how are you? Trust me, and uh, what are your thoughts about being out in this classic tonight for the first time? Yeah, I'm honestly Yes. Is this the first time you're going to be racing the car in anger for quite some time? I've never raced the Yeah, yeah. But of course, this has been a, a track of uh, good fortune for you for many years. So, well, I do hope that you enjoy the experience and it would be great to see you back for more again. All right, thank you. Well, there we are. That's the lineup of our drivers that we have this evening for the Classics for the sixth round of the Scottish Series. As we mentioned before, a good evening, brilliant blue skies, and uh, hopefully we'll enjoy some good racing.